Hello YouTube, this is HorrorFan1 back again. I've had a lot of people ask me to show off my Texas Chainsaw and Leatherface uh, memorabilia that I have, so I'm going to do that in this video right here. It's going to be all Leatherface stuff. Starting over here on the wall. There's an original poster from the 70s, from the original Texas Chainsaw, full life-size. Got it framed and everything. There's a one for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, up there next to Devil's Rejects. Here's an original piece of artwork that I bought at a horror convention. Just pretty good Gunner Hansen likeness, so I got it. Here's something I don't think too many people have. Let me kick this light on here. That is me and my life-size Leatherface robot. He is actually about six feet tall and really cool. So come over here to the regular stuff. We have the stylized Leatherface kind of plush, cartoonish feel type thing. Still pretty cool though. There's the Thomas Hewitt leather face from the beginning down to this mini bust here made by NECA. Really cool bust. These are the Horror Headliners XL. This is limited to only 5,000. Each one has a certificate of authenticity with it. It's in the back. I'm not going to move all the stuff because I don't know how much trouble I would get in moving all this around stuff falling. So just take my word for it. This was put out by Gentle Giant. This is a bust that is limited to only a thousand. There's only a thousand of these in the world, and they're really cool. They're individually numbered by hand. Here's the 12 inch McFarlane Leatherface from the uh, Jessica Beal version, the remake. Got a meat hook in the back with a hand and everything hanging there, really cool. Here's the one put out by. I believe it was NECA, Texas Chainsaw at the end where he's in the suit, you know, running through the desert. Here's the big set made for the beginning. There's tables and everything. This is him actually not even holding the chainsaw. He has the meat cleaver butchering the guy, splitting him in part. One of the best scenes in the uh, Jordan Brewster Texas Chainsaw. There's the original classic bloody version by McFarlane, the very first one that I've, you know, ever had. There's the one here from the second one, part two. It's got extra meat and all the accessories are on the ground for all these. I have all the pieces of everything. Here's a really cool statue I've never seen anyone have on here ever. It's not a figure. It's a very hard, very heavy, very rare statue. You can see there's body parts inside there. There's actually stuff inside the jars and everything. He's not wearing his mask. I mean, this thing is really heavy. There is the 18 inch leather face from Todd McFarlane that also is motion activated sound and that is limited to only 5,000 heavy really cool very expensive online here is Jessica Beale running through the meat factory away from Leatherface the Thomas Hewitt version from the Jessica Beale version obviously coming through the wall after her here's the brand new 12 inch one from Cinema of Fear very cool because they did all real clothes on him and everything and there's actually a variant of this where he's wearing the outfit from part two but now on to the real really cool one this is a set that there is one of in the world one not more than one there's one and i have it you can see on the side here the old style poster I'm not going to show the middle yet all the way over here to the new one of him hugging the chainsaw from Chainsaw Beginning. And there's really cool stuff on the top and the bottom and back and everything too. There it is. We get on a better angle without the light. There is all six movies inside this set with leather in the middle standing on a pile of skulls. The removable figure and that blood that you see splatter everywhere is not on him. I mean some of it is, but it's the glass that slides up so I can get access to the movies that are inside. The movies are all good, of course. Um, this set is, you know, that's glass. Real nice. It's hard plastic all on the sides. It has a wood grain look and feel to it, but it's not. And uh, just really, really cool. Pull this glass up all the way. There, you can see him inside there. Movies all fit in there perfectly. They don't jiggle around or get messed up or anything along those lines. 
And then that's pretty much it for uh, my Leatherface stuff. That's just him, you know, figures and random things. Go down here to the section on top of the movies that I have up there in that set. Here's um the Pioneer Home video release, the first pressing of Texas Chainsaw that was ever made. Um, here's a cool version, all silver looking on that. Autographed to me by Gunnar Hansen. I have pictures. I met every member of the cast that there is that does convention stuff right now. I met all of them at the same show. Here's the Steel Book, two disc Ultimate Edition, all gold looking Steel Book. Lots of bonuses, really cool. Here is this is still just Texas Chainsaw One. Here is the Special Edition Meat Pack Edition. You know, it looks like it's meat Meat Pack there. And that's a hard case. Really cool. Front opens up. I can't get it to go right now, but it opens up. The gruesome edition of Texas Chainsaw 2 with all the Tom Savini extras. Uh, then I have three up there leather faces in that set. Here's a still sealed steel box of the Jessica Beale version. This is the one that folds out like a chainsaw. You open this up. It slides out the bottom. You fold it out into, you know, a chainsaw. Whenever you fold it out, it looks like a big chainsaw blade. And I have one of those still sealed, and I opened this one, obviously. There it is when you open it all the way up. It looks like a chainsaw. Evidence enclosed with the bloody fingerprints on it. I opened that one. I didn't open the other set. The evidence is nothing special. I mean, it's cool. Here's the saw. It goes all the way down. It's real long and cool looking. And here's the metal tin that comes with it. Still in real good shape and everything. Uh, then moving on, there's the Jessica Beale version here. And then there's a different boxing of the Jessica Beale version in that set over there on the middle. It's just a real basic version. And here's the set for the beginning. See how the stitching's all different on his face? And on the back, you can see his eyes popping through. This is just a slip case version that I saw that's a little bit different than all the other ones. Stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that's all the Leatherface and Texas Chainsaw stuff for right now. So I'm going to make another video because I've got a lot of cool stuff in very recently. And uh, this is HorrorFan1 signing off on this video. I will be back with my next one. Thank you.